Namo Buddhaya. My dear Dhamma friends, I am very happy to share Dhamma with you all. Today, I am giving you some information about arrival of Buddhism in Sri Lanka. Although Buddhism was originated in India, it was introduced to Sri Lanka by Arahan Mahinda Thera with the help of King Asoka's Dhamma Mission in the 3rd century BCE. It's a well-known fact that before arrival of Buddhism to Sri Lanka, people who lived there did not have proper religion and culture. They believed natural objects such as mountains, huge trees, the sun, the moon and rain. People were in dark and they did not know what is Dhamma and Adhamma. That's why even the king during that time named Tevanam Pithisa was hunting a deer when Arahan Mahinda Thera arrived in Chetiya Giri. Nowadays we call it Mihintalaya in Anuradhapura. Fortunately, Arahan Mahinda Thera was able to convince the king to be a Buddhist. He was the first king of Sri Lanka who believed Buddhism. Buddhism was spread all over the country with the help of royal patronage. Many temples and monastic institutions were established in many parts of Sri Lanka. In addition, the establishment beginning of Bhikkhuni order and plantation of Bo tree also are the result of arrival of Buddhism. Not only Sri Lanka received great religion, but also it received great culture. My dear Dhamma friends, people started to practice the teaching of Buddha for their own goodness and they commenced to respect one another and gradually they stopped killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, telling lies and all kind of unwholesome act. Because of the influence of the Buddhist culture, a beautiful concept came into being as Gamai Pansalai Vavai Dagabai Nil Goyamai Kaha Sivurai. This means that a serene temple is the culture of the village and beautiful stupa stand over the lake bringing peace and calm into the environment. Rice became staple food in Sri Lanka and fatty fields brought a beauty to the village. Monks were there to teach Dhamma for their two people for their happiness and lead them spiritual success. So my dear Dhamma friends, Buddhism teaches us to be good, to do good and purify our mind. Therefore, let's refrain from all kind of unwholesome deed, thoughts and words. May our every action, may our every deed, may our, may our every thought be calm and compassionate. Whenever you have this kind of determination, you all can see true Dhamma within yourself. It will lead you to fulfill perfections and attain bliss of Nibbana. May all be free from suffering. May the Triple Gem bless you. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu.